Welcome back to some more F1 Manager 2024 and today is an extremely important episode. We will see if we survive in our role as head or team principal of Sue Motorsport F1. Uh, it's Abu Dhabi time, end of the season, last race of the season. Uh, we may need to pay some money to fix Duan's car. His gearbox is completely busted. Uh, maybe we can survive with this gearbox number 8 here. Uh, we'll see. But uh, yeah, it's not looking good. But let's see. Season end. Will I still have a job after today's episode? Let's see. If you guys are enjoying the series, of course, make sure you leave a like and subscribe using the subscribe button down below. Really do appreciate your support. All right, we've been fined another 1.4 million, so that's unfortunate. Cost cap fines are killing me right now. All right, so last time, Bearman totally totaled his car. Totally totaled, essentially, yeah. Uh, totally destroyed it. Um, so front wing, we don't have any new part available. We need to manufacture. So let's emergency manufacture one piece. It's only 900k, so that's not bad. We'll hope that they don't crash their car during the weekend. Um, so yeah, we've pro we're probably gonna get fined another cost cap infringement here, but that is fine. Uh, let's continue then. Okay, so we've been fined 900k for breaking the cost cap again, but that's fine. I'll take that. So Abu Dhabi time. Let's see medium speed performance. Going to be cold, so maintaining tire temperatures might be tough. Race targets. That's fine. All right, so let's head into it then. Let's get P21 for both cars. I think that's the minimum we can get. So let's see what ha or that's the maximum we can get. Sorry. So let's see how this weekend goes. All right, then we're heading into qualifying for Abu Dhabi. Um, oh dear, this isn't looking good for Behrman. Let me make some adjustments here. Possibly trying to find the optimum setup. Mm. That might be optimal, right? That might be the best I can get. That's all right. Car parts. Let's put in the fresher components again. Behrman did crash the car last time, so I'm not expecting like outstandingly good components. Uh, they're, they're decent. Okay, that's fine. As for doing, let's see. He... Mm, let's drop that a little. That. That's the best I think we can get here. And then let's give him the best he has, which, let's see. Is it any... Okay, 10%. That's the best we have for Gearbox. And then 50% here. He might retire during the race, but I do not care. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Let's start this qualifying session. And just like that, our final qualifying session go gets underway. Let's see how well these guys perform. I'm expecting a Q1 exit. Obviously, the car isn't great. Behrman goes purple sector one, gets beaten, but it's a 124 one. What about Duan? He's going to be a little slower considering his gearbox is literally thin sheets of metal at this point. Seven seconds behind. Wow, that is a massive gap. That performance is horrible in that second car because of that gearbox. Here we go then. Final laps of qualifying one. Behrman's right here. Now he's crossed the line. Doing crossed the line with a minute to go. Let's see. Behrman not improving. Doing on the other hand, improving. So Behrman does not improve at all. The second lap curse hits us. But for Doing, he's got two green sectors, which will mean he's only like five seconds behind everyone. Ah, seven seconds behind the leader, but four seconds behind Joe. We're P20 and P22. Didn't expect anything better anyway. So yeah, early exit, P20 and P22, but some penalties going up and down the grid. Barely taking a penalty for the crash last time, of course. Joe in between us with a Gasly, Albon, and Bottas also out. Well then, three position grip penalty is only P19 though, because of other cars, I'm assuming. Um, oh, this is an interesting strat. What if we put... Okay, we don't have any other tires available. What tires does... Bearman have available to him. We need to check. He has some fresh available, one medium, one hard. Okay, so let's. Okay, it's a hundred percent car setup though. That is good. Um, might want to do a three stop. We'll do softs at the start, then move on to the hards and the cascade down. We might do a three stop today. I think that might be the best option we have. And we can push on the tires a little bit. Not that we're expecting any good performance out of this, but this might be the strat we go for. Um, same with Duan. We'll just give him 
the softs at the start, move on to the hards, and then cascade down to the softer compounds. Yeah, let's do that. So identical strats for both cars, 100% for both cars as well. That setup looking beautiful. Uh, yeah, we'll leave the fuel. We'll just tell them to go aggressive from the start. And we should be good to go. Final race of the season. This was a horror season one, but let's see if we can actually finish the race for both cars. And hopefully other cars crash and cause problems with each other. And then hopefully we can have some uh, positions. So we'll see. Let's start this race. And without further ado, here it is. Green flags wave for Abu Dhabi season ending. Lights out and away we go. All right, we're not going to tell them to, you know, do all that pushing and such. We're just going to let them figure it out. Do what they must on their own. We have some buffer room, so we can push a bit. So I'm hoping that these guys push. While Behrman going back. Daniel Ricardo getting past both of our cars. Doing already struggling with bad gearbox. That's fine. Doing lost two positions. That's fine. Just keep going. We need that DRS, please. When it gets enabled next lap. Now the thing is, we invested a lot in next year's car, and we were barred from making any upgrades to the car presently because of the cost cap. So I'm hoping to be at least at the lower end of the midfield. We might still be the worst car on the grid despite the regulation changes, but I don't know. We'll see. We need to invest in the front and rear wings. That much I know as soon as the new season hits. Alright, let's calm these tires down a little bit. Behrman with an option here. DRS wide open. Going for a potential move. Oh, Ricardo cut that corner. Track Lemus there, mate. Anyway. It's a battle between the kicks out of Bottas and Ricardo. There might be collisions there that might help us out. Come on. Can you stay close? Can we make this in our, work in our favor? I don't know. Ah, uh, we're dropping back. This ain't good. Let's use the tires a little bit. Ah, ERS battles this is on. I keep forgetting. Well, that's screwed. Uh, we can push with Dew, and I do not care about saving fuel because we're going to get lapped anyway. All right, Behrman's dropping back. It's a three-way battle. My gosh. Did Ricardo bump into one of the kick salvers? I don't know. I don't think so. There's no warning here about damage. We do get past Joe, though, with Behrman. Behrman cooking. That's good. Already 10 seconds behind Duan. Duan is crawling through the circuit, man. Crawling. But so far, so good. Okay. Still a little harvest. But we'll maintain high pace with everything else. Tire usage and all that we'll maintain. I think we just about keep DRS here. Let's go top up. It's a battle between Albon and Ricardo. Bottas sneaking in. He cut that corner as well. What's the AI doing? Literally cutting that corner every single time. DRS engaged. Trying to get past Bottas. And we do. Let's go down to aggressive. It's working. Why is the ERS battle still on for? Doing? Okay, we're good. Alright, we need to push. Can we get close? Can we? Should we deploy? We should deploy, maybe. I don't know. We're you know, Botas is gonna get past again. Okay, yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, but we get him back. Let's go. Does he have DRS? He does have DRS. We might get DRS here though, because we're behind Botas. Let's go neutral. Save up on some battery here. I say save up, but we're not gonna save up too much. Okay, hold on. This might be Ricardo. Daniel Ricardo. No, it's not Daniel Ricardo. Albon, excuse me. I just saw a dark blue car and I presumed it was a RB. But no, it's... Okay, we're spending a little too much on the tires right now. We'll chill a bit. 
Okay, Albon pushing again. Hmm. Do we have DRS here? No. Bottas does though. We're P20, which is pretty good. Not gonna lie. Duan just needs a bit of luck with the uh, DNFs here. Oh, sugar. Bearman spun. Alright, well that's screwed. Okay, hold on. Pause. Let me get the pit option open. We're pitting now for the hard tires. Pit crew, get ready. Bearman spun turn 12. You hate to see it. What's he doing? Aye. Come on, bro. Alright, in he comes. As for doing, let's do a little push. Let's see what he can do. He's got DRS. He's been lapped already, and it's only 11 laps in. <laughs> uh, doing struggling today. Cars. Oh, wow. That is the tightest of exits, man. Oh, oh, sure. We're going to go straight through the barriers there. Huh. We're going straight through the barriers. <laughs> oh, frontier. Oh, frontier. There's no pit exit line either, by the way. There's no white line for the pit exit. All right. Let's bring these tires up to temp. Let's go top up. Gonna go easy on the fuel a little bit. Duan's the next one we need to care about, so let's wait until his pit stop comes. He is pushing right now. All right, Duan is now gonna come in. Oh, box, 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 box. He does have severe issues here. It's red. This most likely means we're gonna retire the car during the race. There's a very high chance that we do. Yellow flag. Hold on, what happened? There might be crashes. Competitor ran wide. Joe lock up into turn 12, and we go through the barriers again. You love to see it. Three seconds. All right, relax. When Behrman starts his next lap, we'll give him a little push. See what he can do. And we'll be in good shape. Let's see. Three, two, one. Attack, fuel push, and ERS push. Let's get this lap in. See how well he does. Doing struggling. 36 seconds behind his teammate. We are worse than Kicks Alber. Seriously, we're struggling that much. It's because they crash literally every other race. It's very... Because of the crashes, we had to spend so much on the car parts. And then we got cost cap fines that totally destroyed our budget. So it makes no sense in that degree. I don't think there's any team in F1 history that crashed every other race. Or even almost every single race in a season. It is quite wild. Oh no, Duan has terminal gearbox damage. He stopped. Oh dear. Safety, safety car. car, safety yes. car though. Mode charge. Okay, it's good, it's good. Duan retired, safety unfortunate. Car. We we are the goats, the goatifi of, uh, of, uh, of the F1 season here. We just pulled a goatifi move. Uh, do we see... Uh, we have reports here, but I don't see... I, I wanted to check the driver's standing because we might be creating history here. Um, no, not standings. Here it is. Okay, Max Verstappen's won it. He's clear. Like, no matter what happens this race, he's clear. But Leclerc could steal runners-up with a good result here today. As, it, as things stand, Norris would still be P2, but things could change because they just pit. Signs is some ways behind and Sergio Perez P5. Okay, what about constructors? Red Bull are clear and it seems like there's some big gaps forming. So yeah, that that's settled then. So there's not much of a drama to be had here, but still maybe some, especially with the Leclerc versus Norris battle for P2. Okay, safety car coming in. Safety car coming in. Let's safety get ready to pits. push. Safety car is in the pits, in the pits, and we restart. Let's go. All right, I might tell him to go high overtake aggression. Let's see what happens with that. Just going to give him that. Let's see what Bearman can do. So Duan triggers the safety car. We were able to preserve the tires a bit, preserve a bit of the fuel and the battery. So that's good. Magnuson in trouble of possibly dying in this race. There's the engine's not looking good. So he might retire, possibly. And you never know what happens to any of these other cars. I know they did get an engine swap last episode or a couple episodes ago, so they might be on fresher engines. But still, anything can happen. We're already a second and a half behind. Two seconds now. Yikes. Oh no! 
We collided, I think. We collided. Okay, hold on. This is Magnus and Mechanical Fault. He's having issues. It didn't downshift. It didn't downshift, he says. But what about us? We just had a collision. I think our car is We've built like a rock. Joe got screwed though, for sure. Okay. What happened? Joe hit us. He had so much space on the inside. What are you doing, bro? You deserve that. You deserve it. You deserve a penalty for that too, mate. Okay, let's go standard. Let's relax a bit. Push on fuel though. Okay, investigation. Bearman and Joe, let me guess. No penalty awarded? Yeah, obviously. Obviously. Gazzy with issues. I mean, it's mafia. They're, they're screwing us, totally. Alright, let's bring in Behrman, please, for his medium tires now. Medium tires going on. We got one more stop after this. Let's see what we've got. It's 2.7. They're always a slightly faster that with Behrman than Doohan. I've noticed that. It's always like 3 seconds for Doohan, but for Behrman it's always like 2.7, 2.8. So that's quite fascinating. Pit crew like him more, I guess. Anyway, we continue. We're about to get lapped to the leaders. Um, is that... Or do we even get... We got lapped already. That's the leader there getting past the Haas. Probably Magnus in there. That is Perez. And Norris scrapping there. And then that's Russell. So we already got lapped. That's fine. Yellow flag. Will someone retire, please? Magnus and lock up into turn 13. That's not what we want to see. We want to see DNFs, please. Okay, Magnuson's in the pits, so we get past them for P19 right now. This is a solid result from Behrman. He's doing nicely. Hold on. I want to see if we can just remove this. Hmm, we could massage the tires to the end. Let's try that. Let us try that. Okay. We'll massage the tires to the end. Alright, we have problems here. Uh, Magnuson caught up with us. And it's the last lap. Verstappen started the last lap. We're, we're, our tires are dead, essentially. We're gonna try and push on fuel. Come on. Survive, buddy, survive. Survive. Oh, look at that gap we're getting on Magnuson because his uh, engine's struggling. But DRS is keeping him close. Oh, let's push to the end, please. We might be in danger of fuel here. Let me just go. And then we'll tell him to defend like a lion. Always defend. Do we have enough to see this out? Think we might be able to. Oh, P19. Marvelous defending. I appreciate that from Behrman. What a result. What a result. That was good. Fighting Magnuson and Joe. I, I, I mean Magnuson. But Magnuson did have an engine issue. But I do not care. That's some intricacies I do not care about. We got P19. I'm happy with that. Wow. Unfortunate for doing. But yeah. That was a race and I have to end the season. I'm mean, pretty impressive season I must say. Just to survive this long. Crashing every other race essentially. And you know having some issue. Still managing to get P19 on the last day of the season. Uh, Magnuson and Joe behind us. But P19 for Behrman. Driver standing twice. Max Verstappen wins it again. Crown champion with Lando Norris behind. And then Leclerc in P3. Um, who else? Uh, Duan and Behrman. Well, how is Duan ahead of Behrman man? Behrman finished more races than he did. I don't know. Anyway, constructor standings wise were dead last. No surprises there. But Red Bull are crowned uh, uh, constructors champions. And then Ferrari P2. Um, what about pit stops? We had horrible pit stops. We are th oh, three tenths. Wow. Three tenths off. That is a shame. Uh, four tenths off apparently. Than the best at least. In the, the, the P10 was at least three tenths off. So we have a lot of practice to do. Um, money we get. But let's see if I'm fired or not. Don't go anywhere just yet. Car park development is locked for the season. Championship result, Red Bull and Max Verstappen win it. No surprises there. All right, here we are then. Season engagement objectives reached. So we make four mil. Uh, no other money 
Team marketability has gone up though. 26 levels or 26 points is that marketability points. Federal NRG is satisfied, title sponsor, and then uh, race targets we've met uh, a little bit. We've lost out on 4.8 mil about or 4. Uh, yeah, 7 mil ish. And engagement, we got more money than we expected. So yeah, not bad. Not bad at all regarding funding. Too bad that the FIA stole a bunch of our money. Uh, here we go. Let's see. P11. We got 600k. Let's go. DHL fast is pissed off. <laughs> anyway, 600k. Not bad. Uh, sp sporting director mentality is low. I do not care. Lost confidence. That's a shame. But do I still keep my job? I should. Uh, Drivers championship. Bearman with zero points. Duan with zero points. And team with zero points. Team ratings gone up though. Until the end of next season 2025. Uh, it's one star at this time. Final position was 11th. Long term objective is trying to score at least in 50% of the season's races. That's until later. My rating's gone down to zero. I'm not surprised by that. It happened when I was at Kicksalver and then moved on to Haas in the previous game. Uh, but we can build from that. Team rating has gone to 70, though. That's good. That is very good indeed. Board has lost confidence. Oh, does that mean I'm fired? I didn't see I'm fired just yet. Oh, you have been fired. What do you mean? What what can I do? Oh my gosh. I can switch teams. Hold on a sec. Oh my gosh. My team is still on the grid. I got fired from my said team. But I can go to kick Sauber or Haas and rev revamp my career. My team will still be on the grid though. Oh my god, this this puts a twist to the game here. This puts a twist to the game. I did not sign a second driver. I was trying to sign someone, but I failed. You know what? I might go to Haas again. Haas is the redemption team, always, with this series. F1 manager, I've always gone to Haas and done very well. And then that resulted in us being absolutely, like, revitalizing our career. That's what happened in the last game, right? I revitalized my career with Haas because I outperformed their season objective of 6th. Um, yeah, Kick Sauber is a bit of a struggle. That team, I do not know. But Haas, you know what? I might sign for them. I will. I will go to Haas. Let's switch team. My, I, I, my The objective will be to go back to my said team. But I am absolutely livid that the team I created, my blood and tears are in that team. And I got fired. Wow. All right, so new season. Let's see. Six or above is the objective. Podium contender by... 2024? Really? We want to be... What? Oh, target season is 2028. Objective set... Oh, that's when they set it. Why am I negative? Yo, we are poor. We're 14 mil in debt. We're 14 mil in, but in debt? Oh, no. Haas is in financial issues here. Okay, uh, did we save? Okay, somewhat saved. Oh, no. My team is going to cook this season, though. Oh, Haas is not looking too great. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Sidepod is well saved though. Okay. Underfloor. Uh, they need help. Suspension looks okay. Eh, suspension is kind of off too. Uh, financials. Yeah, I mean that much we know. Sporting. Yeah, that, that much we know. Alright. Uh, which engine do we want? Uh, we want the one with ultimate power. We need power. I think we might go for Honda. Haas, Haas Honda RBPT. You think that might be the powertrain we go for? A big risk, big reward. That's the mentality I have for this season. Oh, 14 mil in deficit, and oh, okay, we'll start there. Start from the ground up, guys. Start from the ground up. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to see the car performance here. Um, it seems like we're midfield essentially. Um, car one and car two. Tire preservation is not great, though. We got to work on that. But at least top speed and everything looks pretty normal 13th overall ranking so just outside the points we might be able to score some consistent points this season uh change team let me see how my team fared we are still better than my own team tire preservation is much better uh than Haas but yeah 
Okay, they're still dead last. Uh, Sue Motorsport is still horrible. Um, hopefully they do better this season. I don't know, but we'll see. So here we are at sponsor negotiation for the season. Preference is staff activity for these two, but VIP activities is preferred for that. Ah, screw it. I need the money. Let's just go for money. I do not care. Yeah, we'll do this. This is our sponsorship for the season. Should be no negative effects on any of our drivers nor our facilities. So we've maxed out our secondary sponsor packages so that's good confirm we should be in the surplus now up front is 29 mil we should have about about 10 we should have about 17 mil okay so we got two projects going chassis and underfloor so that's good these are hitting some of the important parts that we're lacking currently so that's not bad i think we have enough for the start of the season at least i'm hoping the drivers don't crash as often that's no big deal actually we got two very good drivers you can book and magnus and i won't be too worried with these two drivers well i guess i'll leave it there then for today's episode this is wild season two about to be crazy confidence is medium and budget is looking good right now um yeah that is it guys thank you guys so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe using the subscribe button down below and i'll see you guys for a new video tomorrow yo max verstappen's a free agent max verstappen's a free agent why did oh, oh hold on a sec i have to ask i i, I mean it's it's rude not to ask